Retreat? Retreat is not an option! We will soon break through the Exclave's defensive line! I know it! I need only a few more standard units of time! These are direct and indisputable orders from King Pacheco! It is added that any disobeying of these orders will be result in an execution! General Voss, I urge you to follow these orders! The Tepe Goliath requires maintenance and cannot function at maximum capacity. This battle will not be won. We do not need the Tepe Goliath or the Omni Beam to win. All we need is Tepe Min and Perseverance. Wrap up the intensity. I have activated controlled algorithm 134. You have been locked out of command subroutines and asked that you confine yourself to quarters. Q0M4, are you aware that this is mutiny? This is direct insubordination. This is evil. Do you know how long you have known me for and to turn on me just like that? Q units can only activate such algorithms with authorization from the TCT. It was authorized by King Bachingo himself. Tepe Troop number 50, take General Voss to his quarters. All ships, suspend the attack as per order by King Pacheco and return to the home base if the NRUP this is effective immediately. Welcome King Pachingo and heads of the United Fiber Nation. I am glad we are able to come together today in peace talks, as this war benefits no one. The Republic of Tepe stands on the matter of victory that no one side can make a logical assertion to have won. And I agree. I am here to organize peace, not to organize profiteering for the free exclave authority, but for lasting peace to be established, concessions will have to be made. The Fiber Nation would like a demilitarized zone to separate our two empires from each other. I will agree to even demilitarize parts of my own nation. As will I. I believe the parts of the NRUP that border Pi, Epsilon, and Zeta Fiber should be cleared of all military hardware and left empty. I will cede such territory, but I want in return for a committee composed of our three countries to monitor and enforce law in this region. I want a sharing of all recent technology across the galaxy. The hoarding of achievements have allowed some to have an unfair advantage in galactic affairs. That is true, but such a demand will remain unanswered in that it is outrageous. If your people want to advance, innovate yourself. I support that notion. However, King Bichingo, I ask you that the land separating the Exclave from the former CPAS Core Worlds be ceded to my country. I will not give up any land without anything in return. To compensate for me ceding that land, I wish for Exclave District 019 to be given to the NRUP. Yes, that would be agreeable. Now, if all parties are currently content with the treaty, I ask that a process be put in state to start disarmament. Why should we give up our weapons? The military is crucial to our economy and government. How else can we maintain order? The constant pushing to build, upgrade, and make stronger weapons has directly led to more conflicts like this. And is it not advantageous to everyone to prevent conflict? I side with the Fiber Nations. These talks were organized so that peace may be achieved, and let that continue to be their prerogative. Chancellor Compass, I feel these negotiations are being rushed. You have overlooked the matter of prisoner exchange. 
I wish for the simple return of all soldiers. Why, of course, of course. The Exclave has no reason to hold on to a bunch of Fibermen and Tepe troops. They will all be returned. This still feels very rushed. I want to examine the particulars before signing anything. I believe the Exclave is in fact profiteering from this war. The Exclave does not have such backhand intentions. Now let this treaty be signed and may peace be permanent across the galaxy. Peace has officially been announced, but Maximus, I do not feel inclined to return Professor Proboscis. I've contacted Compass and he says we should state he died in action. I think we are a little too confident. We should have thought twice about telling him everything Compass had planned. Then again, who's to say it's not all fake? That Operation Helios was a fake plan devised to distract him from what was really going on? I do like that idea. We could do both. Report him as dead and tell him that Operation Helios was all fake. Though whatever we do, we have to do it quickly. We are to go to the newly minted DMZ for phase two. You know, we should just keep the professor for us. Why just report he died to Tepe? And why not just report he died to the Exclave as well? Keep him as our own little prisoner. And to see if Compass? I'm fine with that. Now let's get this whole thing cleaned up and covered up. I'm not going to enjoy trudging through fiber space for the next few months. Security reports a breach in the prison unit. The professor has escaped. I am informing all units to detain him immediately. Surrender, you exclave fez head. Surrender to the glory of Tepe. Laser rifle, activate. Laser noise. Professor. Please stop shooting everything. We are no longer at war. It ended only a few minutes ago. I repeat, the war is over. The only way for the war is to be over is for Tepe to be completely annihilated. Or for the Exclave to have crumbled under the might of Tepe. It's neither. Compass and King Bachingo in a splendid show of peace have organized a ceasefire between our two people. Tepe even gained some land from it. Then will I be returned home? Or do you have something evil planned for me to fulfill what I can only guess is a personal vendetta? No, you won't be returned home. You have been recorded dead in all databases, including Tepe's and the Exclave's. But you are now free to reinvent yourself, I suppose. Why have I been recorded dead when I stand here right before you? Put down your weapon and return to your prison unit, and then I will explain everything. You think you can do that, Professor? Unfortunately, no. I will return to Tepe and tell them every last detail there is to know about Operation Helios. That must be why you want to keep me here. To cover up your failure and reckless divulging of information, isn't it? The whole operation is fake. Compass originally thought he wanted to stir some paranoia into the Tepe ranks, but he uh, decided against it. I affirm it is all fabricated information. All information is fabricated. Someone has to come up with it. Laser rifle. Activate! Hold on! I don't want to die. What if I report your dead to one more person? General Hollinger. And then you can leave on a fighter craft and go wherever, wherever you want. That is a win-win situation. You get to keep your life and my life has the potential to continue on. Though, I do want all laser cannons disabled before I leave. Computer, disable all laser cannons. 
professor, everything's ready for you to leave. You know, many people don't get a complete reboot of their life, and I hope you don't waste it. The truth of the matter is, I would never give up my life and all the progress I have made for a new one. Laser rifle, activate! Laser noise. Some people put too much faith into others. Professor, I assure you, you will not win. Sir, a firecraft has left docking bay without any explanation. Should we open fire? Of course. It's probably Professor Proboscis thinking he can so easily escape from us. But he cannot. I'm afraid that he can in fact escape. General Smirk has authorized disabling of all laser cannons across all of our ships. Smirk has made a deal with the devil.